What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody. So I just got done speaking to the Lord. April 26th on a good old Friday, 2024. Real quick word here, because the Lord is putting this on me to really share with all of you. Listen, it is rough waiting for the Lord. It is rough being patient for the Lord. People say they are tired. They don't feel good. It's a lot of stuff. Let me tell you something. Stop saying it. Stop saying that. The Lord got on me so heavily, you know, and I was just sitting down and said, man, I'm tired. Um, or, you know, he would just correct me on little things. And I thought about it. I said, no, it's you right with the word that he gave me yesterday. Trust me in order to see it. In order to see that 10 percent of progression in your journey with the Lord or healing, you have to trust the Lord, because if you don't trust him, you won't see that you just got healed 20 percent. You won't even see it because you're too busy not having faith because you don't see the full manifestation. We can't operate like this, y'all. The reason why the Lord has waited so long to do certain things is because our faith needs to be so undeniably strong with what is coming. If you're going to have to heal people, if you're going to have to do this, all this other stuff that the Lord is having you do in ministry, you have to have faith like nobody has ever seen on this earth today. Because a lot of people today don't know what faith is, but we're going to have to learn. They're going to have to see it. Let's read some scripture. Listen, y'all. Hebrews eleven six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Understand, you got to believe it to receive it, right? Trust is a process and an everyday thing with the Lord. You have to have every day, not when you want to have it. So listen, he knows we are tired. He knows a lot of people are struggling. But you got to get up when you're tired and say, I'm not tired. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. I'm refreshed. My stomach, my head, it don't hurt. It's healed in the name of Jesus. Because why? Proverbs 18, 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Let me tell you what I do. I don't put a single thing in my body until I pray over it. I know people be real hungry. They get kind of lazy. You can't do that. All this chemicals, GMO and all this stuff in the food, you've got to pray. I always say, may this be clean in the name of Jesus. No GMO, no chemicals. I bind and rebuke all witchcraft. If anybody use divination, may it be lifted in the name of Jesus. May this food be clean in the name of Jesus. This water that's over my fruit, over my body to wash my body with, be clean in the name of Jesus. Cleanliness straight from the heavenly host, straight from heaven. Only minerals my body needs, converted to minerals my body needs. Energy, no fat, no Nothing that's bad for my body in the name of Jesus. Every time before I put some in my body, it could be a simple granola bar. Soap that I use to wash up. Do you understand? A lot of people get concerned about the water supply and go, oh, this is chemicals. This is this. No, not mine. Any water in this container, may it be clean in the name of Jesus Christ. No chemicals, no nothing. That water is clean today. That's how our faith has to be. And we have to believe it to receive it. People will hit me with that. Ooh, did your stomach hurt after eating that? Nah. I prayed. And, you know, I will share with y'all some of the stuff the Lord has had me purchase. You know, I haven't done that yet because he kept adding on to the list. <laughs> so I just want to make sure everything is, well, I already know because he told me to get it. You know, I just want to know how it is and before I start getting on here saying stuff and let him give me the time and giving y'all that list of things. The Lord will get your bodies together. He will get you in the right track. 
But we need to have faith. You need to stop saying you're tired. You need to stop saying you're tired. You are energized today. Do you hear me? You are not sick. You are healed today. If you are somebody, I hear cancer just popped up. You, you're delivered. If your children have autism or a mental disability, it is no more. It may be 20 and 30% of healing done, but it is no more. And it's manifesting, but you got to trust him in order to see it. Don't listen to what the world is telling you it should be like. We look stuff up, we start searching things up, we get in our head. I'm a corporate of that too when I wasn't feeling good, right? I said, let me stop. <laughs> and I was overthinking. I told y'all when my stomach was messed up, for about two days, I got hit with an attack, but the Lord turned that around for his glory, for a testimony. I went to urgent care because I thought it was blood and it really actually wasn't. And I kind of laughed even harder at that because I remembered what I had an intake of. But the lady was like, the best thing we can do is nothing. I said, all right, Lord, you being funny today. We got to learn how to speak life as the body of Christ, as hard as it is. Ain't nobody said it was going to be easy for you. You know what I'm saying? Nobody said it was supposed to be easy for you. We are the ones that struggle so we can help other people. Yeah, you want to follow Christ. Now you're going to have to struggle to get to where he needs you to be so you can learn how to be strong in your faith. Stop saying that you're sick and tired. You are energized today on a Friday, you are not sick, you're healed. And if you see a family member who is going through it in the hospital, going through something, you thank the Lord. You wanna know why? Because they may not be up out of that joker right now, or they may not be out that wheelchair right now. But guess what? They will be healed in a way the Lord wants them to be healed. And if you keep thinking that full manifestation is supposed to happen in your face, you're never going to see the 40% of the manifestation. That's right in front of your face. You must trust in the Lord and your faith must grow. Even with this transfer, you know, a lot of people want this to happen in such a physical world way. No, he says your faith grants you access. And what does that look like? Believing that the Lord will do what he told you to do, no matter the circumstances, no matter if you have a $50 bill up in there and you didn't put up in there. It don't matter. And as far as wealth transfer, it's about assets in general. The fact that you can step in a house with zero dollars in your account is faith. Yes, that's real. That's the Lord. And don't let nobody tell you otherwise or a glitch that can happen that feels in order for you. Surprisingly, that's right. That's called the Lord Jesus Christ our faith needs to be in God, the father in heaven, the creator. Look what he did with his creation. You wouldn't have thought to create no elephant. Now, would you? So look at his creation in general and look at in history with Hebrews 11, all the faith journeys that people had having children at 90 years old, red sea part and Enoch taken because of his faith. Come on now. You need to speak life as hard as it is. I get it. It's difficult. That ain't no excuse. Speak it and speak it today. Don't wait till tomorrow. After, during and after this video, you will speak life, not death. So you're healed today. During these calls, that's all he's been telling me to say. You're healed. You're already, you know, going to do what the Lord is going to have you do because you have what he has in store for you spiritually. You just got to let it manifest 20, 30, 40%. And that's what he's been looking at this whole time. Will you see the 20% or are you doubting? And that's what he's been looking at this whole time. And I had to process that. Are you looking at the 20% of healing or are you doubting because you don't see 159%? Because you ain't just going to be back to where you was. You're going to be better than one you once were.
Come on now, not even back to the normal. Better than you've ever been in your entire life. That's what we're looking for. And the Lord told me, I'm going to use you. He's talking to me. I'm going to use you to grow people's faith. I can share that dream with y'all in another video, but it was so impactful. So I'm going to do that. And even for me, I got to get on myself. All right, come on now. We got to get up. We got to finish these calls <laughs> because I don't feel like getting up right now and doing all this, you know, but I got to know I'm going to get up and I got the energy to get up because that's what the Lord has given me today. You understand? I don't feel like editing. No, you do feel like editing because the work needs to be done. I'll be fighting myself when I get home because flesh ain't no joke. Flesh is contrary to the what? The spirit. You better have some faith today. Don't play. Stop playing. You better stop tripping. Have faith so the Lord can give you that grace to do what he's called you to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on now. Peace and blessings. And I will catch y'all in the next one.